I get the feeling folk aren't preparing to leave. Edmund Wraith. I didn't expect you back. I'm working my way back to New Eden Town. There, you're on your own. I'm trying to track someone down, and I was hoping you could help me. I doubt I'll be much use, but I'll help you if I can. So, I found your name in an old letter. It was addressed to someone by the name of Grace. It was written by Deborah Comenius. You're tenacious. I'll give you that. But must you push so? Deborah wrote of a cabin in the woods. Could this Grace person have found it? I don't know. It was all a very long time ago. I had forgotten her. Did Grace ask you for help? No. Grace Pennington vanished. No one ever saw her again. Grace Pennington? As in Captain Saul Pennington? What happened to Grace? I don't know that either. There had been strife with her father. Then she was gone. And the captain spoke of her no more. Deborah wrote the letter in February 1688. When did Grace disappear? Months later, Pennington accused Deborah of being a witch. In my recollection, that moment overshadows all others. Could Grace have survived alone out here in the woods? Possibly. But could she remain unseen? No. All thought she'd left New Eden. Gone west, perhaps, into the wilds. Does the name Seeker mean anything to you? It sounds less a name than a calling, but neither mean anything to me. We done. One more question. Did the school teacher keep a cabin in the woods? Deborah spent much time walking the woods, trying to understand New Eden, she said. Now that you mention it, I remember a snowstorm. She spent three days in a hut not far from here. Southeast, across the drawbridge, along the path towards the mine. If it's still there. Goodbye to you for now, Kate. Just our luck that when we need Seeker the most, she disappears. I still don't understand why the ritual failed. Let's just find the hut.
Symbols. The hut may be near. I sense magic. Could Seeker be here? I'm as blind as a bat here. Not if you look through my eyes. This isn't working.
This can't be a coincidence. Could Grace be Seeker? Dusty. Seeker hasn't been here for a long time. Anyone home? Right there. Fall from grace. That's not funny. And neither is this. Aye. Fair enough. Fine wardrobe for a youngster. They're rags. And they won't help us find her. Aye. More demonology. Unusual for a witch. These two schools of magic don't usually see eye to eye. Perhaps Lamy could help us with the spell. Deborah knew about this place. Focus on the matter at hand, Red. I am. She's in the mountains. There's a ritual of dissimulation, and we need the catalyst. The circle powers the door, but I don't know the symbol. I don't know it, but I think Lammy might. We did well to come here. Now we know where she's hiding. Soon we'll be able to use the pond. All we need is the key to the dissimulation spell. And Lamy Haskell will help us with that. Ah, uh, sure. Whatever it is, out with it. Oh, now what I say is worth listening to. Only when it doesn't slow us down. 
We're in an awful hurry. We need to get this right. We cannot afford to fail. We won't fail if you stop dragging your feet. Things look better here. Helen is working out. Spectral traces. Something's up with Helen. Banishes. Excuse the clatter. I've seen worse. Good day to you, Helen. I did not count on seeing you two again. I take it you've returned for a reason. What can you tell me about a young woman by the name of Grace? It seems you already know some of the story. It was a long time ago, but I'll do my best to fill in the gaps. What happened to her? As I heard it told, one day Grace just wasn't there anymore. How was their relationship? I believe it was... stormy, as you'd expect between a commander and his disobedient daughter. I do think he loved her. But as far as anyone ever saw, he never shed a single tear for her. Later, after he exiled her, did the captain try to find his daughter? Not to my knowledge. He did not set off in search of her, nor did he send men. At the time, I thought it strange. Still do. 
I'll never understand how a man could reject his only daughter. And that, my inquisitive banisher friends, is all I know about the matter. Go gentle, Helen. Failing that, go hard. Grace was right in front of us all along. I barely recognize her. Let's f a ghost damaged the sign. No governor, no meeting house, and it seems no faith. As a Well, ho there! What a pleasant surprise! I was fair and sure that I'd never see you again. Very often. Mm. Far away, God willing. Build bridges, say the wise, that people may better understand each other. Build a jetty, say I, so that a ship may come and we can leave. New Eden is a fascinating study for you and I. But for ordinary folk, it is, as I've heard it put, a shite hole. Leaving sounds right to me, if these people learn from their mistakes. They repent, Mistress Duarte. A new start elsewhere, away from the place in which they sinned, will do them good. Spoken like a leader. I fear, however... But not everyone shall listen. I fear what shall befall them if they stay behind. We found a page ripped from a book. Here, do you recognize it? Let me see. Is this from the Trismegistus riddles? <laughs> yes, it seems to be. Why would you bring me one mildewed page from an amusing but harmless little book? Why would you fail to disclose that you'd given another ritual to another friend? It was a long time ago. I said after Caleb I'd distribute no more rituals, and that's what I've done. Uh, uh not done. We know. But we're looking for Grace Pennington now, and we were hoping you'd help us find her. Who? Really, boy? Oh, I'm sorry, Mistress Antea. You said Grace's name, and it is my reflex to protect her. Ever heard of someone named Seeker? Seeker? No. Sounds like a title, like my true pursuer. This Seeker... Is she... Grace? Is she alive? Do you know where she is? We think she's Grace. We hope she's still alive. We're trying to find out. We think she's hidden herself away behind your dissimulation spell. Then you'll need to unravel it. Shouldn't be too difficult once you're armed with the salient facts. When was the last time you saw Grace Pennington? It had to be a few days after I brought her the cloaking ritual. When I returned to visit, the hut had disappeared. Which makes sense now that I think of it. That's it? You never again tried to find your best friend. Your only friend. Well, you see, some weeks later the first whispers of witchcraft started to fly about town. I kept my head down and Grace was better off out of it. 
I was right. And I'm glad she escaped. Strange to think of her again after so long. How does the ritual work? It creates illusions so effective that they deceive even the keenest eye. There are more effective cloaking spells, but the Trismegistus riddles do have a simple elegance. The short version, please. Ending with how we break it. Yes, yes, of course. To achieve that, all you need is the caster's full name and the symbol used to make fast the illusion. Grace Pennington and a triangle pointing downwards. Well then, now all you need is a simple counterspell from the same book and... Oh, my. What now? I'm afraid I left my copy in the Aralu. In the void. That's just great. Just great. Yes, but in my defence, once you've retrieved the book, dispelling Grace's illusion will be like a walk in the park. Comparatively speaking. Thank you for your help. Could you tell Grace that I'm still her friend? I'd be glad to see her again. Once we find her, we'll be glad to tell her. We have failed. We have failed. <sighs> I... well. As though I had not died. I'm dead. And I'm not alright. I'm not alright at all. But you pretend not to see it. That makes me angry. And it makes me sad. I never wanted that. I know. But it still felt that way. I feel a draft. From the invisible. something spectral nearby. Something lingers here that did not before. We're not alone. Die, 
Der Bastard! Not with that ward nearby. Ask for help if you need it. Something's nearby. Where is it?
You're good at that. I know. Once you've revealed the roots, I'll destroy them. Look, I couldn't talk about it. Couldn't talk about what? You accused me of pretending not to see that you're dead. That's how I feel, Red. You have to accept it. I just... I couldn't face your death. I admit that. Your death left me desolate. I knew in my heart that it should have been me. Then you came back. I snatched at the chance to undo what had been done. I don't wish to deny your pain. But just try to deal with mine. Wow. That's... I hadn't thought of it that way. Thank you for your honesty. Will not have him.
Our book isn't here. Our book might be up there. I might need some help. I might be able to give it. Do you see anywhere that could help? Keep searching here. Looks like Lamy's stuff. Only more scattered. Even with the void shifting, the book should be around here somewhere. Yeah. Got it. That seemed a little too easy. We have the symbol we need. Let's go back to the mountain and find her hiding place. First things first, Red. Think you could take on a ghost? You go, you wee bastard! Answer its call. It's going all out.
here, you know. Did you feel that? It's close. Something's concealed.
Did you see that? Let's follow it. And the campfire. Just what Dr. Duarte ordered. I think a way to pass could be near. This is it. Seeker is behind this wall. Let the veil, Let the veil of unknowing, of unknowing be, lifted. be lifted. Let, Let us, us see through, through the, the eyes of Grace Pennington. Surprisingly slow, even for a banisher. You're late. Or early. At last we find you. Missed me that much, did you? You could have hurried. 
You always think you have more time, and suddenly you don't. It wasn't in vain. We have come far and learned much. I hope so. But don't think you have it all figured out. You're still banishers, after all. We are indeed, Grace. So, you know. You knew Deborah. Did you also know what happened to her? I knew. But not until months after the fact. I was living alone in the woods when it happened. Deborah was Grace's teacher. She encouraged her to be herself. To become... who I am now. They did not know one another, but without Deborah, I'd have never met Ceridian. And with Ceridian, my entire life changed. Deborah suffered terribly. And the fate she met was exactly the fate I fled. I accept it now. I accept it all. Ceridian has left a hollow, and I am called to fill it. I accept. I am ready for my role in this world. Are you ready for yours? The time has come for us to go back to New Eden and face the nightmare. Yes. Balance must be restored. You must face your fate and end the curse. Ceridian said the only way back was through the void. But the pond seemed broken. We need your help. Of course you do. We're listening. Remember Ceridian's words. If you were to defeat the nightmare, your hearts must be open to each other. No barriers. Your bond must be strong. We've never been stronger. This void breach is not like the others. This one... leaks. This one sits at the rotten core of the entire region. You must leave whatever still burns in your hearts at the threshold. If you don't, the void will kill you. Do you know where in New Eden Town the void shall lead us? The trick is to focus on your happiest memories and let them take you there. At least that's how it's always worked for me. We'll try. And when at last you succeed, I too shall return to New Eden Town. I shall see you there. that, we'll take our leave. Bring peace to this troubled land and your troubled hearts, my friends. I know it's not easy to hear, especially when it's me saying it. On the contrary. Thank you, Seeker. We'll do our best. That is not your concern. She's the custodian now. May she have all the wisdom of her mentor, and more. I wish I had half the wisdom of mine. You're not as stupid as you sound. You'll be fine.